Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new, my name is Marie. I am a full-time mom and I resell and I have a haul. So I have three items that I'm gonna show you from the bins. The rest is from a multitude of other Goodwill stores. I should say thrift stores because Goodwill doesn't sponsor me. So first things first, we have these cute white Calvin Klein jeans just like shorts. I don't really know how to describe them to you, but they're shorts. And here's the tag. And they're cozy and fun and they've got the little CK and I don't think I'm gonna make a million dollars, but I thought they were really cute and kind of trendy and I thought I'd pick them up. And then I got this Worthington skirt, really pretty. I think this is called like brocade. I don't know, but it's fancy. This this is a fancy skirt. And it's brand new and it was $44. So I'll probably get like 15, you know, no big deal. But it's Worthington. It's a size six. I pretty much never pick up this brand, but it was in the bins. It was new with tags. It's kind of like a holiday style. It's fall, winter. It's kind of like sexy. It's whatever it is and so i picked it up because i wanted to save it from the landfill and i stand by my decision i also got this paper moon which is a stitch fix piece this is size 2xl so a couple things here i love picking up plus size i don't think it's easy for larger women to come by really cute pieces I don't, like, this is not my favorite piece ever, but it is really cute. It is new with tags. It was in the bins. It is now going to be in my Poshmark closet. Everything else, regular Goodwill store. So first I got these Crew Cuts, which is J. Crew's Kid Line. Pineapple pants, they are a size 12. I'll show you the tag. So that's what we do in the reseller community. We show tags. I'm gonna show some tags. Okay. Yep, 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 yep. So most people know this in the reseller community. If you don't, no worries. I'm about to teach you. J. Crew and Madewell have super easy style numbers to find. So you just go to their little fabric tag right at the end. Boom. Hello. Boom. You've got your style number and then when it came out. So these are from summer of 2020. They were super cheap. So I figured I'd pick them up because uh, somebody's going to want these cute little pants for their kid. Now, now, I got these Beta brand pants. The dress pant, yoga pant, pant, pant. And they are a size medium long. So I like selling Beta Brand. I think they're great quality. They often get marked up a little bit in my Goodwill stores. Um, I typically sell these for around the $35 mark, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. I'm hoping to get a little bit more for these because they are a long. Um, but I won't pay a lot for these because the return is not amazing. That being said, on two different days, I found another pair in the same color and in the same size. So I got it because now, now, folks, what can I do? Multiple quantity listing. How fun, I only have to list it once. Okay, moving right along, we have these Levi's. Super cute, very popular wash. They are the wedgie jeans in a size 28. They are also Levi's premium, so that's fun. They have a button fly, classic jean. How do you pass Levi's? Next is something I haven't found in forever, and that would be these seven for all mankind dojo jeans. You know it's a dojo because it's got the seven on the pocket. These are not like overly dojo. Sometimes it's white stitching or 
something that just makes it stand out a little bit more. These are not, that's okay. But these are a great size. They're a size 32, which is not something, I don't think I've ever found a 32 in dojos. So I'm excited to see how these do. Moving right along, we got this really cute long line sports bra. Here is the logo and it like crosses across the front Ooh, like these so cute okay and this is the brand Montiel I've never sold this brand before but this was cheap enough that I figured I would pick it up and see how it does next is this Ariat vest I really love this like gray color that it is the raw edges on the sleeves and I believe this is called the Serape vest um, I think it's very cute if you've been watching my channel you know I love bohemian this is bohemian that's all that needs to be said okay next up one of my absolute favorite finds I was so excited to find this in the thrift store I've only found this brand once before here's the back Here's the front, cute scalloped edge, super pretty buttons. The brand is Saison, and it's a size 36. I think this blouse is still for sale, but I could not find it in this color, so that's kind of nice. Hopefully it'll resell for just a little bit more because it is not available online through Saison. So, I found this in a jumper once and it sold really quickly and for great profit. This one was not expensive, so I'm excited to get this one listed. Another brand that I like selling, this is Everlane. Size six, silk button down. It's kind of like an off-white color. Next, we have this Marmot button down. Really pretty plaid color, way, colorway. Um, it is a size medium. There's the tag, Marmot is an outdoor brand. This does have tab sleeves. Does it have tab sleeves? It does not have tab sleeves. Don't listen to me, I don't know anything. Um, it's got these front pockets. I just thought it was a good fall basic. Again, not very expensive, happy to pick it up. Now we have a learning moment, folks. So this is Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. It's a size extra small. If you've been reselling, you know that this is a brand that resellers like. It does move. I like the piece. I like the colors. I got lazy. Don't be like me. Be better than me. That's why I'm here, to make you better than me. So I was removing the tags, and everybody knows you should cut your tags off. But I chose not to and suffered the consequences and now there's a hole in the shirt. So I will be noting that in the listing. I'm still gonna list it. Um, obviously I have decreased the value because I was lazy. So be better. Also, none of this has been steamed. So I steam everything. Um, I just pulled this all out I'm going to do my haul with you guys. I'm going to get it steamed, prepped, pictured, inventory, listed. Boom. Rinse and repeat. So we have this Urban Outfitters. Size extra small. It's just like a, I think, what is this? Marled? Marled? Anyway, it's got like this raw hem detail. And I just thought it was really cute. It's like a thermal... I guess it's not a thermal knit. It's more like a ribbed knit. Anyway, it's cozy and cute and I like it. So moving on, we have this brand that I have never sold before. It's not a bolo brand per se. It's nothing amazing, but I did like the color blocking. I liked the color way. I liked that it's kind of minimalist, cozy. It's got little zippers on the side. I thought it was a really nice basic piece that's not just a basic piece. I mean, that's it, right? So cute. Pastel. On the back, it's like a stripe. On the front, it's more like a patchwork 
dealio. It's got cable knit. It was knitted by hand. Very much vintage. Size small. It's just acrylic, but I really love the sweater, so I picked it up. I'll clean it up a little bit, do some like maintenance on these bits where it's a little long, but Next we have this London Fog Vintage Extra Large Sweater, and actually, this was my sweater. And I wore it all last winter, and it's still in amazing condition, considering I love this sweater. But it's time to move on, so I figured I'd sell it because I think it's really cool, and hopefully somebody else will get to wear it. And we have this black kind of cropped cardigan i'm 5'2 on a good day so probably cropped right kind of cropped anyway it's like this crochet like doily grandma core bohemian cardigan it's got three buttons and it's got this collar and collars are supposed to be trending so we'll see how this does in my closet I can show you the tag. It is a vintage piece. It is Cherry Sticks Limited. Never heard of it, but I like it. Next we have this Charter Club size large cardigan. And how fun is this? It's so like Barbie, so Elle Woods. I love this. It's got like ruffles, but it's only on the front. So the back is a little more subdued. Very cute. And that's why I got it. Next is this cardigan, sweater, jacket, swack it. Swack it. It is Habitat. It's a size large. It's got a single button, big pockets. This is a great lag and look brand. Um, very like Grace and Frankie is what it reminds me of and it is a wool blend so there's that I love this I don't need it but I love it so I'll let it go it's not mine but I didn't buy it for me either I would have anyway Rhonda Stark vintage blazer with this beautiful like kind of Western style button in this really pretty colorway. I mean, come on, it's like a great Southwestern print. Okay, it's a wool blend and it's a size medium and it does have light shoulder pads, but they're not the kind that you can remove. They're like inside the lining, so but that's okay because bold shoulders is supposed to be a trend. So we'll see if that translates to be true in this piece. Speaking of trends, colorful leather and leather in general. Also metallics. So we got a lot of bangers going on in this one piece. This is a Jessica London, size 18 genuine leather jacket in this beautiful silver color so i picked this up because again metallics in leather in colored leather in it's a plus size boom love it i love this i hope somebody else loves this too should i put like a, a warning like a trigger warning uh be uh, careful of your eyes i could this is like a construction I, this is a lot but i like this so it's a boston proper size 14 again lovely size it's new without tags and it's got like studs down the arms it's like a tweed i don't think it oh yeah it does close it's got one little closure like that i actually got this like a week after I got two other Boston proper new with tag and new without tag blazers in this size and one size up at a different Goodwill. 
Isn't that interesting? Okay. I don't know how well this piece is gonna do. It was non expensive, so I got it. But you're about to see why. Cute jacket, right? But hello, Max Mara. Um, okay, I'll take three buttons, little pockets, needs to be steamed, obviously. But how cute is this? I love this, and I never find Max Mara. I found Max Mara one time before in New York City at a Salvation Army, and it was a large piece, and it was not nearly as cheap as this was, and I could not bring it home with me, so I sadly had to leave it there. Moving right along, we have Eileen Fisher, size small, just this cute, super lightweight, lagging look, very easy going, 100% linen, open front cardigan with like, I guess this is, is this a waterfall? Sometimes waterfall starts like way up here, but this is more down here, so who knows? I mean, hello, Fran Drescher, are you home? I love this. How gorgeous is this? And then the back, oh, I love this. I love vintage pieces. It is 100% silk. Papel Boutique Evening, size small. So old Adriana Papel. It closes with one little hook and eye closure at the top. It's got a floral pattern all over, except for on the back and the sleeves. I mean, I love this. I love this. This I would rock this to like a holiday party with maybe a white slip dress underneath. Or you could wear it with jeans. So many options. I just love it. Okay, next is this brand, Faithful. I believe it's an Australian brand, but it could be wrong. Um, this is like a tie front jumpsuit, and this is actually my first time finding this brand. So we will see how it does. It wasn't super expensive. The comps were kind of all over the place for this particular piece, and I couldn't find any in this colorway when I was looking. So fingers crossed. Next, we have this like cottage core, granny core, kind of like modest. You could button it all the way to the top. It's really... And it was new with tags when I got it. And um, apparently I'm a magician because the tag has just disappeared, like no longer exists. So I won't get as much for it. Not that the tag makes a huge difference, but I won't get as much for it as I had originally planned and that's okay. Moving on, we have this beautiful like high neck. Hopefully I'm tall enough that you guys will be able to really appreciate this piece. It's like lace, it's got eyelash lace up here. And then it's tiered. Okay, all right, come on. Boop, 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 boop. How stinking cute is that? So cute, and then the ties are like these little tassels. Ugh, love. And then here's the tag. I'm pretty sure you've seen White House Black Market, but if not, now you have, you know? So this is, again, not a brand I buy almost ever, but to me, this is a perfect, like, witchy, fall, bohemian style. I say boho and bohemian probably a billion times in a video. Part of me says we should start, like, a drinking game for when I say boho or bohemian, but you will be passed out by the time you make it to the end of my video. So maybe we shouldn't. Let's, let's not do that. I don't want to see y'all like that. Okay, I never, ever buy wedding dresses to resell. I think it's uh, not a great idea. I'm also well known for not always having the best ideas. So I bought this beautiful 
wedding dress. Can you see this beading right now? Can you? Oh my God, it's beautiful. And it's like, again, I'm short, so bear with me. And then the bottom is like this tool, right? And then the back, it has like a corseted back. It's stunning, you guys, it's stunning. I love this. I love this. And also, if I just loved it and it wasn't a great brand, I would have left it behind. But the brand is Maggie Sotero. I don't know if you guys know anything about this brand. Hopefully that's focusing. Sorry, I bumped into you. Um, it is expensive, okay? This, mm, mm, girl, that's, that's pricey right there. So I don't think it's going to be a quick sale. It's a small size. It's pretty short. It's very specific. Like, I don't know if you noticed, but the flowers have like yellow tinted beads. So I think it's very specific and it's going to take a special person to buy this dress. But I think it's a really special dress and I'm okay with holding on to it until the right person comes along because I think I'm gonna get a great profit out of that piece. So all that to say, that's my haul. Thank you guys so much for coming or coming back. Um, if you saw anything that you're interested in, please feel free to send me an email at the linked email below. I will also have my Poshmark closet where all these things will be listed linked below. If you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up so I know that you liked it and I need to keep doing it. If you did not like this video, give it a big fat thumbs down. But please, in the comment section, tell me why you didn't like this video. What do you want to see? What do you not want to see? Let me know so I can improve. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, put them in the comment section. I will get back to you. I got nothing else. Well, I, I have children to take care of. But I don't have, like, I'll, I'll get back to you. <laughs> um... If you're feeling frisky, hit that subscribe button so you can follow along with my journey. If you're not feeling frisky, hit the subscribe button so you can follow along with my journey. Bye.